Okay, so I got a lot of different emails. Well, not emails, but messages today, like through my um, Instagram account. And it's this, you know, the same page is up on Instagram. It's a fraudulent account. Like, they go, they go back and forth from different YouTubers and they use their name and put their pictures up there. And um, they do, like, fraudulent activities, try to send different messages to people to try to get them to, you know, send them money or make it seem like they're selling some type of product or advertisement or something like that to try to get, um, you know... To try to scam different um, supporters and things like that of different YouTubers. So I seen um, someone sent me a video. Someone um, sent them a video of um, products of mine. It was one of the bar, Yoni bar soaps for the feminine wash. And it was like one of my pH balance, the um, test strips, the screening kit. And I um, remember someone bought one bar soap. And then I sent them a free screening kit because sometimes I just send, you know, free products. If, you know, a person just buy one product, I'll send like a free screening kit as well. And um, this person is like they have the bar soap and then that one screening kit that I sent for free up there. And they're making it seem like, um, you know, they're selling my products and things like that. And but they have been reported. So, you know, no worries about it. But this is just to let you guys know so you want you can be aware and you won't be scammed by this person. Any products that I sell, it goes straight to my website and they get shipped out just like that. It does not. No one um, can inbox you and say, hey, do you want to buy this? Do you want to buy that? And you can send it, send the money here. No, you can go to my website, lizzielee.org, and that's where all my products are. And I normally will post. Um, I also have a separate Instagram page that's been up as long as I've had my website over a year ago. You know, it's been a year in some since I had this, you know, my website and my Instagram page for my website, which is at Lizzie Lee's Luxury Lashes. And then I just recently made this YouTube um, Instagram account. And I noticed like um, when I first reported it, like over a month ago, they... Um, change their name to another youtuber account and they were scamming people and you they just go from different youtube uh youtube accounts and um go through their fan base and stuff like that and try to scam them or their supporters so <clears throat> that's one thing that i wanted to put out there so people can be aware do not um do not send anything to this person do not um Pay attention to this person. Report this person. Block this person. And it's like this person is someone that um, slipped up. And they um, actually ordered products. And then they sat back and tried to. Yeah, they ordered products. And they sat back and tried to re like make it seem like they were selling the product to different people to try to scam them. And a lot of people will look at, you know, we think like, well, you know, how would you know who the person is? I'm someone that pay attention to detail. I pay attention to everything. So it's like I keep a invoice of every person that purchased. So I know that within this last time frame of me having my starting my page in December, well, not starting my page, but started doing videos in December up until now, it's only one person that bought one bar soap separate. Other people have bought like the, you know, the bundles and things like that, but it's just one person. And you would expect for a person, if they were me, to have all of my products. This person only have that one bar soap and that one screening kit that I sent for free. And that's how they gave their self away. And it was only one person. So that's all I wanted to say. You know, don't get scammed. Don't get fraud. Pay attention to, um, you know, anybody that you will just send money to and always make sure because there's a lot of people that, you know, they, they don't want to work and they do fraudulent stuff and um, try to project their energy off onto you and they try to snatch your energy and things like that. Try to, you know, prosper off of your energy and um, in a fraudulent way. So that's just to be aware. Any um, Anything that I will always, you know sale or anything that I would be it's always posted like in my community uh, posts 
I have a website that's right on the in the about section, you know, and I always in my description box say, hey, you can go to my website to get, you know, feminine or organic feminine hygiene products, things like that. If you want to buy my deck, everything is based in the description box. This page does not even um, have a link to the website. Any page that I have, including my actual business page on Instagram, that it goes straight to my website. Even this page that I just created for this channel um, about a month ago, that goes straight to my website, lizzielee.org. So that's another thing. Everything is always written in the bio or the description box of anything, you know, where you you will know who I am and things like that. But I just wanted to give a lot of people heads up so people won't think that it's me. <laughs> As I haven't even posted my business that much, you know, on YouTube at all. But it's like this person is, you know, using my YouTube to try to prosper off of my business when they're both separate. But yeah, I guess we're going to get off into this. <laughs> but yeah, this person literally gave their self away. Six of Pentacles is here and then two of Pentacles is here. So somebody is going back and forth and at the two of pentacles, they're trying to figure out how can they balance something out. Yeah. They're going back and forth in their head. They're juggling between thoughts and finance, trying to figure this out. And they're at the six of pentacles trying to figure, yeah, this person could have got exposed. The sun card is here and they feel stuck in the hangman position. This person got wrapped up in some type of situation because they got exposed. <clears throat> yeah they got exposed and they're stuck they're wrapped up in some type of situation and it's like now they're at the two of pentacles going back and forth trying to figure out how they're going to balance this out how they're going to cover this up they can't balance this here six of pentacles equal give and take whatever you do come back when you tenfold good or bad yeah the empress And then Ten of Cups in the reverse. This is somebody that's not happy. And this person is somebody that don't want you to be happy, whoever this energy is. They're not happy with their self and they don't want you to be happy. They see you as someone that's very abundant with this Empress card being here. Someone that's happy. The Sun card is here. And they're stuck. They ended up getting exposed in some type of way. And they're tied up. Because of whatever was seen, somebody seen this person do something and they ended up getting caught up. They possibly didn't know that they were seen and now they're juggling, trying to figure out how can they cover it up? How can they balance it out? How can they try to hide something? And they can't. It's already seen. The sun card is here. Yeah, tower is here. They're sitting back dealing with an overflow of bad choices. This person is somebody that's sloppy and that's how they ended up getting caught up. Yeah, they're going through tower moments, dealing with an overflow of bad choices or whatever they had to do. They, whatever they had done did to you, and they're getting ready to go through a drastic change that they never knew that they would go through. Yeah, no. <laughs> this person is stressed out. They're the mental prison in their head. Slander guys to sleep this night and getting exposed. This person hasn't slipped up, and they didn't know. Whoever this energy is, yeah, they're stressed out. And then the devil, yeah, they're being, they're in fear because the, the, whatever they were doing, it's like they caught on the devil and whatever they were doing, the devil is here to collect. So they could be getting hunt, hunted down with this nine of swords and then the devil, they could be getting hunted down by the devil. Like they're having nightmares and um, they can't sleep at night and they don't know what to do. They're in fear. <laughs> The chariot and the star card is here. They see you moving forward. You're someone that's a star. A lot of people respect you. You're someone that's protected. And they see you moving forward and they're stressed out. You've been moving forward though. This person is just, they can't move on because they're stuck. Whatever they did to you, it came back to them. Page of Wands is here. And then Queen of Wands. Judgment. Yeah, this person is sitting back going through karma. They're receiving karma and they're about to receive some type of message. Page of Wands. 
some type of communication. And then Queen of Wands is here. Somebody have um somebody wants to communicate with you, somebody that's attracted to you. This page of wands talks about communication and um they've made a final decision. The judgment card also means like final decisions have been made. They've made a final decision that they want to connect with you, communicate with you, page of wands, queen of wands, and judgment. So yeah, they want to connect with you. And this person is stressed out. They possibly know. This could be somebody that's attached to this person that want to connect with you or was attached to this person. Ten of Pentacles is here. And then Nine of Wands. Yeah, this person is sitting back. <laughs> this person is sitting back nervous. They're guarded. Them and their this Ten of Pentacles could mean family. So it could be their family nervous. They're guarded. Page of Cups is here. Yeah, they're guarded. I'm also getting this person that wants to connect with you. They see you sitting in your Ten of Pentacles and they're guarded. They're, they see you in this energy where you're guarded. And um, they're nervous to like contact you or communicate with you. They want to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with you, Page of Cups, but it's like they're nervous yeah because they're weighed down ten of wands is here they could be weighed down with a lot of weight or something that's on them a lot of burdens and that's why they're nervous yeah king of pentacles and then king of cups nine of pentacles yeah they're weighed down because um it's more than them that want to communicate with you. It's other people that want to communicate with you. You have a King of Pentacles and then a King of Cups here. You're someone that's single, sufficient, abundant. You don't need anyone. And it's like um, a lot of people are looking at you. You attract a lot of attention with this Nine of Pentacles. You stand out. You're someone that's very self-sufficient and independent. And a lot of people are looking at you, not just this person. And that's weighing them down. They're nervous. It's like if this, if one of these energies is your twin, your ancestors um, want you to be on guard with this person until they apologize. I know you possibly heard that in the past. Do not. And this person needs to apologize. This person needs to speak the truth. And um, this person is being weighed down with everything that they're trying to hide. Stuff that they don't want you to know. And it's like, instead of weighing it down and keeping it back, you know, weighing them down and a lot of baggage on them, they're supposed to speak the truth to you because some of this stuff you already know. But it's like this person don't want, they feel like that you're going to be guarded uh, towards them if they speak the truth. When that's not how you are. It's like some of this stuff you already knew. Some people don't forgive. Some people, you know, say that they won't forget and they won't forgive. Some people will forgive and they won't forget. It's because you have to learn lessons. So you will pay attention to the signs. The next time a person tries to do that, it, you won't allow it. This person is someone that, you know, they're being weighed down and they're nervous because they know they owe you an apology. They know they need to speak the truth to you. And it's like your ancestors want you to be on guard until this person speak the truth. If they can't speak the truth, then you keep moving forward. This person is going to continue to be weighed down when all they have to do is bring in truth and clarity. And that's it. And be honest with you. Just like you were with that person. Yeah, this person is going to keep going through judgment. Keep receiving karma. And being weighed down and stuck in a never ending cycle because they don't want to tell the truth. And they don't want to apologize for stuff that they had and did. Everything is just going to keep coming back. And this person is stuck. And you're like on a journey. It's like you're not even in that energy. Seven of Swords is here. Yeah, this, this was... What is this Seven of Swords? Yeah, Seven of Swords and then Six of Swords in the reverse. So this is this person is trying to strategize how can they get you to not move away? They don't want you to move away. They don't want you to be at a distance or something like that. And it's like um, you're already at a distance from this person. You're already not connected to this person or not around this person. 
Um, they don't know. They don't get that. And they're weighed down for a reason because it's like <clears throat> they're trying to strategize on how they can keep you from moving away or selling away and you're already gone. I, I don't, I'm not getting that. Yeah, Three of Swords is here. And then Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, this person is, um, they're depressed. They're going through some type of depression. They could be around different people that are slowing them down, Knight of Pentacles. Or this person could be just slowing their self down. A lot of people will say, oh, this person is doing this and slowing this person. No. People only do what you allow, especially when you grown. So it's like, if this person is allowing people to slow them down where they can't move forward, even if they don't come toward you, this them moving forward in life or slowing them down, that's what they're allowing. And you have to respect that and you keep moving forward. They'll learn that lesson, hopefully. That's not up for you to teach them that lesson. That's on them. Just like people couldn't teach you lessons. You had to go through stuff on your own. And you moved on from certain people. This person got to go through that same thing. And it's like your ancestors do not want you to um, connect with this person on a, a sexual level until they speak the truth to you. Until this person is honest with you. So it's like not even just a sexual level. But just... Um, being in a commit jumping in a commitment with this person and you think this person is going to be committed to you and honest and this and that and they don't come in to tell you anything they're trying to hide different stuff that you know happened you don't need to connect with this person this person is not someone that you can trust it's like you're it's not equal give and take eight of wands is here and then the strength card is here Yeah, so, um, yeah, this person look at you as someone that's that's very strong and you move forward. This person could be trying to gain strength so they could come towards you to speak the truth. Stuff that you already know and you could have forgave that person. And then, you know, at, at a point you were sitting back mad trying to figure out why would this person be um scared to contact you and this and that because it's eating them up whatever they had done did. That's why they're at the nine of wands. This is stuff that they were not supposed to do. Stuff that they shouldn't have allowed other people to do or made them feel like it was okay to do to you. And um, in a sneaky, deceptive way, seven of swords. And that's why it's eating them up like that. That's why they're stressed out and nervous and guilty at this nine of wands. This is what they chose. And it's weighing them down. Ten of wands, the ultimate burdens. And they're trying to gain the strength to come towards you. Yeah, the Emperor is here. And two of swords. Three of cups. Yeah. What is this Emperor and two of swords? Temperance is here. This person wants to reconnect with you, but um, they want you just to be blinded to something. This emperor could be something like a father figure or somebody, a businessman. They want you to be blinded to, it could be a boss, somebody they work for or something like that. They don't want you to know something. So it's like if this person comes towards you, don't just jump into, you know, believe in this person or trust in this person or none of that. This person can trust you, but you can't trust them. You can't trust their energy. Because they could be still around deceptive energies and they, they're blinding them from the truth and they want you blinded to who that person is. They don't want you to know about something this person possibly did. Yeah, this person sent a lot of conflict, five of wands, whoever this person is. Yeah. They try to send drama and chaos and havoc to you. This person could have been sitting back secretly at the five of ones with them for you and doing a whole bunch of stuff behind the scenes. And they want you to be blinded to that or something like that. Yeah, this person is sitting back stalking and watching Page of Swords and Three of Wands. Whoever this energy is. Yeah, and these are, yes, you have the, the King of Pentacles, the, um, king of cups and then the emperor so this could be like someone that's older than this person like a father figure or somebody they looked up to or somebody that you know has a business someone that's mature older 
and they have kids, like older kids. This is someone that's sitting back watching you. You could have knew this. And um, Three of Wands is here. Eight of Cups is here. Yeah. Three of Wands and Eight of Cups. So it's like you made a decision to walk away from this um this situation. It's like you knew a lot of stuff and you just walked away. Yeah, I'm hearing this person, it went too far beyond the scenes. That's all I keep hearing. Something went too far. And that's why this person is nervous. They don't want people to know how far uh, it went behind the scenes. But um, it's a lot of stuff that um, somebody was being watched, Page of Swords. Whatever was done was being watched and this person possibly don't know. So it's like as they're trying to hide the truth, the truth still getting exposed. Something got exposed uh, in the past. Yeah, the unknown card, and they didn't know. Whatever conflict this person was sending, yeah. <laughs> Six of Cups is here. This card popped out, you know, the, the, the card that popped out after I said this happened in the past. This was on the bottom of the deck, the unknown card. They didn't know, but this is this is what took place in the past. They were seen. So whatever is trying to be hidden, it was already exposed. They just don't know. Yeah, the moon card and knight of swords. Somebody is secretly raging around, pissed off and mad. Because their plan was to stay hidden. They thought they would stay secret. But it did not work. People need to be mindful of who they try to play in the in people, different people energy. And then you get exposed. People don't get that. And they're pissed off. Ace of Wands is here. They're pissed off and mad because you have a new beginning. Yeah, they look at you as someone that's happy. You're in a whole nother cycle. The Nine of Cups and then the World Card is here. As they're stuck in an old cycle going through the same thing over and over again. Being pissed off and mad at everybody else's new beginnings because they don't want to create their own. They don't want to mind their own business. They're sitting back and watching other people and sending conflict to them and copying them. And these are different energies that you hadn't been around that you don't even know. Or different people that this person hadn't been around that you don't know, but they were watching you. They didn't know they were being watched too. They're pissed off. Yeah, the plan was to stay hidden. The hermit card is here. They wanted to keep it in the dark. And then Page of Pentacles. Yeah, they wanted to keep it hidden. Now they're... <laughs> yeah. Whatever they were doing to be childish at the Page of Pentacles, they thought they were going to hide this. It did not work. Now they're sitting back at the Five of Cups in regret, ashamed, embarrassed. Because justice is being served. Yeah. <laughs> 